we got here? It's a murder. A young man just walking down outside the building up there got stabbed. Well, there's a knife right there. Oh, yeah, that's why. We gotta bring this back to the lab and check it. Think you should be touching that? There might be prints. Yeah, yeah. Here's the jacket that got stabbed. It's a style 1946. The body was dragged a few ways down there. After the killer left, he came back and grabbed the body to drag it. He dropped his wallet, too. I got it in my pocket. Was there anything personal missing? No, but I think I might have dropped the wallet. Wait. Uh, let's just try to find it. Come on down here. Let's just check with the body. I think I found the wallet. Yeah, it's ID right there. Did you hear that? Something in the woods. I call it to find it. Evans, you go that way. I'll try this way. Go get him. Stop, LAPD. I wish I could have asked him a couple questions. Phelps, did you get him? Yeah, but it's dead. All right, I'll be over there in a second. Let's, let's get his body and take it back to the police station. All right. Well, good to see you here again, Phelps. Yeah. All right. Case file number one for you. I had five kills. You had one kill. Good start. Your brother's doing good too, old Cole up there. All right, what we found so far? One death, one killer. But there's a group of killers. So if there's a group, they're around the streets. We gotta find them. Are they gangsters? Evidently, what we found at the scene was this knife. You already killed the man that was holding it. This knife seems to have a lot of blood stains on it. The sweatshirt, yeah, we need to check this out a bit more. The owner was some young man coming back from a factory site. Hopefully he wasn't a veteran during the war, because that would have been bad. But the wallet now. The wallet had money taken from it, but we retrieved it back from the dead man you got, 
Phelps. You must you still got your Pacific fight in you. Anyways, I want this case done by Christmas. By Christmas. I promise I'll have it done by Christmas, sir. Okay, that's good. Let's go over the notes. Well, right now I just got a map of the area. Alright, the knife was found here and he dragged him. We know that much. But the victim, do you know how big he was or how heavy? It was about 200 pound man, not too big. You killed him, you ought to know. Hmm. I wonder if it, there was more helping out. For, like, we don't know much. What if there was more people helping him kill this victim? Yes. That's why I want this case done. This case is Knife of the Beast. I still want this case done by Christmas, and I know you can get it done, folks. Okay. Case file one, Knife of the Beast. I'm going to send some men out on the streets of L.A., up where the city blocks are. They're going to look at some stuff, go to the cafes and all that, and check out the place. You know what, folks? Maybe you and I will go. I have another man, another new guy named... Well, I don't really know his name yet, but they say he's pretty good. Anyways, our group, Eleanor, out. Yes, sir. Yo, Phelps, stop. We found another guy on the streets. Another one? He was carrying this 1911. I carry one similar to that. Yeah, the type that was used in the war. Here, hold that. And... He had an, another guy with a stocking cap on. He had drugs inside of it. Some, Some of the stocking marijuana. Beasts. They call themselves the stocking cap beasts. That's why I call it the beast of the knives. They have their own gang. They've been killing a bunch of people around. We gotta find all of them. We gotta put them away. And then we gotta find a leader of them. And press some charges. Keep it in this thing. Alright. We have another guy. We need you to come in and ask him some questions. It may be hard, but just come on. He's in this room. No, this way.